Hey, it's Joel. You know, a lot of people give gifts around Christmas time. It just makes sense. But there are also not just material gifts. There are gifts that you make and create and bake. And baking is the important one that I really want to cover right now because what I want to do is take one of these Fernando Gerez models, these wavy vases, but I want to turn it into something that'll hold some cookies. And I'm kind of excited. So I'm going to show you how to do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Fernando Gerez makes some really cool wavy models. In fact, it spawned hashtag wavy Wednesday this summer and it was fantastic. In fact, my kids and I, we made these wavy bowls and we put them in the pool and they were UV reactive. And so they turned from a pasty white milky color into a purplish and then they floated somewhat in the pool. It was a lot of fun. Those dishes and bowls and whatnot are cool, but they're not built for cookie handling. Neither is something like this. I mean, this is flexible, but if it's a rigid material, it wouldn't hold cookies very well. So I'm gonna show you a cool trick you can do in your slicer to make something like this hold cookies. Let's go to the slicer. Here we go, this is bowl two from the Fernando Gerez collection of really cool bowls and vases that he has on my mini factory. Of course, there will be a link down in the description, but here's the cool slicer trick. So you have this bowl, it's a solid object. And what you wanna do is come down here and say spiralize outer contour. Once you do that and hit prepare, the slicer goes and computes some things. And when you go to layer view, you're left with something that looks like this. It puts down the lower layers and then it spiralizes the outer contour. Pretty neat. What's the trick though? Here we go. Usually uniform scaling is checked, which means if I go 200 on the Z, it's gonna go 200 on the X and the Y as well. That's not what we want. Let's put it back to 100. Let's uncheck uniform scaling. Let's leave X and Y the same at 100, but on Z, let's go 1000. Wow, huge. Go up here to move. Make sure you're at move. Zoom out a little bit and bring it down. Just bring it down. Something like that. You can see a lot of that model, a whole bunch of it is actually sticking out below the bottom of the printer, but that's okay because what the slicer does, it considers the bottom of the printer or the bed or wherever your model is in the slicer to be the ground floor and it builds up from there. Anything below the bottom, it ignores. So now when I go prepare, it's slicing, it's dicing, and, and when we go to view, layer view here, it shows you what's printable. And nothing, nothing down here on the bottom is printable. It's all right here. There are those bottom layers, and it just does a spiralized outer contour all the way to the top. Well, let's print this out on the Artemis. What do you say? While it's printing, it's important to remember that you're going to have a bunch of bottom layers, which is fine. I think I was configured at five, but your outer contour should be spiralized. In fact, that's the definition, I believe, in Cura. And once you spiralize it, it's just like making it base mode around its silhouette. And that's what we did. When you pull it off the printer, it looks like this. This is an Asta brand filament. It's, it's a really good filament. It produces really good results. This looks fantastic. And what's great is you can tell it's just a slice of something like this, just a slice. But because the model was lower than the floor of the slicer, the slicer floor or bottom became the bottom part of the model. And so it only printed what was above it. It's just a neat little trick. And I believe I've talked about it before, but it's a neat little trick that I'm going to talk about again, because it's important for holding cookies. Now that we have this printed, let's take it to the kitchen and fill it with nom nom cookies. Let's go.
And just like that, we are done. Look at this, this handy dandy wrapped cookie platter was 3D printed with a model that wasn't intended to be 3D printed in this way. We used a little slicer trick. We created ourselves a platter, not a bowl. I'm gonna call this a platter and we filled it with tasty cookies. And I'm not gonna open this because this isn't for me. This is for someone else, but I hope this helps. You know, last minute ideas sometimes are awesome and something like this doesn't take very long to print. And if you have someone in mind who you wanna bake something for, and you want something really cool and personalized that you wanna to give to them, along with those baked goods, why not 3D print it for them? Thanks for watching. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I love you all. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love cookies. <laughs> As always, high five.